We'll pick it up from there. Yeah. Gentlemen, we have the Shoe Shine Boys here. <laughs> well, there's only one way to get this show started. You know what that is, fellas? Yeah, is it the theme song? Theme song, boys. Hey. Welcome, everybody, to Live from the Dutch Hall, the greatest podcast ever to come out of a uh, pool shed in Pine Grove, Ontario. And I believe we are the greatest because we have the greatest band in podcast history. The Nocturnal Emissions. That's right. Comprised this week of an un- unbelievable star studded cast, comprised of Steve the Reluctant German hey. on lead guitar. Hey, hey. 
On rhythm, that's our band leader, Michael Poe, everyone. Hello, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Next to him is the man that writes the music for the show. He's our good buddy, the rooster. Hello. Dave Charters is here. And plucking away on the bass is the balls of the nocturnal emission. He's the man that doesn't need a microphone. He's Whiskey Wes Hagens, everybody. Hey, Wes. And this is a double. This is nocturnal emissions on steroids. Because right now, the other half of the Dutch Hall, the other half of the nocturnal emission, is our great guest, the Shoe Shine Boys, everyone. Yeah. All right. If you've been anywhere close to here and you've watched live music, you know who the Shoe Shine Boys are. And you know, no podcast would be complete without a bartender. And this one's got a great one. He's oh. our bus driver. Cowbell. My brother. Cowbell. Paul Van Dyke is here. He's on the cowbell. Rockin the cowbell. Oh, yeah. Holly. Hello, yeah. folks. And we have an all-star lineup of, uh, of, uh, of, guests. of guests. One being our super fan who brought us oh, a yeah. plate of cheese. Hello. I'd be, re- I'd be remiss if I didn't mention her. Teresa Weibo is right here. Hey. And we even have a good old guest of the show, like a Bob Hope of Life from the Dutch Hall. Derek Van Hooten just walked on. Beaver. Beaver. Give the man a jacket. And me, I'm your host, two times. Two yeah. fucking times. President's Club Award winner, Pete Van Dyke. Like, hey, hey, hey. that's where all, all right. the fun ended. The, wow. <laughs> there you go. Now awesome. I have to talk. Yeah, now I got, that sucks. Every time we have a, <laughs> yeah, this is when it all dies. And we're like, we were having so much fun before the show started. And then all of a sudden you ruined it. <laughs> but every, when I was thinking about doing the show, like doing a, a music show where we have a musical guest, it really is a gift for the Nocturnal Emissions. Yes. Sure is. For the band, right? Oh, yeah. Like some of the most fun uh, times we've had in the in the Dutch Hall have been when we've had uh, musical acts where, acts where you've clicked. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's really cool that we got room for a musical action here now too. <laughs> yeah. 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 It used to be like what we were setup. we were all crowded in the corner and we barely could get <laughs> one guitar in here. Yeah. We were sharing the room with the lawnmower and, <laughs> and everything else. Snowblower. Snowblower. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so then it was yeah. So it is nice to have a real to be able to have the room for you guys. Yeah. And. Uh, so and I, we, and we couldn't be more excited. That's why I, I'm kind of a little flustered because I, I don't I want to get to it. Sure. <laughs> I know I have to talk to you sh- you schmoes. <laughs> yeah. But I get you every week, right? That's so right. I, I don't really, really think. But there, there's a little business we have to get to before we get into our guests. Sure thing. We got a gig to promote first of all tomorrow. There we know we have Friday morning listeners on this show, and uh, we just want to tell you come to Swazi's in Waterford uh, tomorrow if you want to see a great evening of music and comedy. The Nocturnal Missions will be playing. Yes. Yep. But also we have a great evening of uh, comedy with uh, Tyler Shazma, wow. Michael Moses, Shazma. and our headliner Clifford Myers. There we go. Awesome. So, great lineup. And it's hosted by me, yours truly, Pete Van Dyke. Sounds, sounds like fun. A, f- a finalist on the Go Yuck Yourself concert. What? No better way to work off a hangover. <laughs> oh, yes. Then the, for tomorrow, from <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Come out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. If anyone's doing what we're doing. But if you're, so if you're washing your dishes or at work or whatever you're doing, listen to this, and you're thinking, uh, what are you going to do? Come to the Swazis tomorrow. It should be a big crowd. Everyone's getting excited for it. Yeah. And uh, what else do we got coming up? Is there anything else? Uh, I know the Shoe Shine Boys got a couple gigs coming up. They have Saturday. They're going to be at the Norfolk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Tavern? Norfolk Tavern. Yeah, Norfolk Tavern. Like t- what is it, an afternoon show? Yeah, the matinee, four to eight. Four to eight. Four to Dover. Four to eight. So get there in, in, in Dover if you're, nice. if you're out that way. Really good to the 30 to 65 demographic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limited standing. For all you uh, people listening for the drinking game, that's Port Dover, Ontario. Yes, yes. Port Dover. Just name in Norfolk. Blaney was mentioned earlier. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You can go, you know, you might even uh, drive through some uh, metropolis like... Uh, Walsh? Uh, Walsh or Glenchy. Oh, yeah, Glenchy. <laughs> no big deal. Wowzers. Yeah, we like our listeners to get nice and drunk quick. <laughs> You don't even see it coming. It's like oh, they're not even prepared. <laughs> now they're into Villanova. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Those corners. There's two of them. I got to drink twice. <laughs> That's a real inside joke that there's two Bill's Corners in Norfolk County. 
When you go to the other bill, you guys are from around these bills corners, right? Shusha, yeah. you right, guys? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I know this one. But this one's more familiar than the other one. Down by Dover, you mean? No. Or yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, kind of by Boston. Yeah. Oh, where Boston, the. That one, yeah. yeah, where the old uh, Coco's Roadhouse was. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think it was Boston Common and Boston, stuff. Boston, Ontario. Yeah, but that Ooh. is actually Bill's Corners, I think, on the sign. But that's the shit, Bill Corners. No offense to those people <laughs> who live there. Uh, and that thing is the poor man's Bill's Corners. And I don't mind because I'm, like, I'm from this Bill's Corners. Straight up. Yeah. That's where you hang it right and you catch that side road to Waterford if you're running from the cops. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. I'm West Side Bill's Corners. <laughs> West Side Bill's Corners. And those fucking East Ender Bill's Corners, guys. Yeah, they can go suck a dick. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't like splintering my audience. I'll do it right now. Too close right. to Haldeman. <laughs> yeah, it's too close to Haldeman. It gets a bit clay. <laughs> Once you got those heavy boots, you get grumpy. Yep. That's what I believe. Not the nice blowing sands. <laughs> yeah, like we like a nice blowing sand in Norfolk County. <laughs> something that, you know, something that like it got good drainage. Exactly. Anyways. Anything we got to talk about? The only thing I want to talk about is charters. Yeah, sure. Charters. Uh, you, Big surprise. <laughs> yeah, you got off of the hook last week uh, because you uh, you just fucked us over at the last minute, right? Is that the what really happened? Look that's at Michael. One way, that's one way to look at it. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, was it your son? Was it your son? I was trying, I was trying to remember what the real reason. Yeah, was. my son had appendicitis. <laughs> I had to fuck. rush him. My, my eleven-year-old son. I had to rush him to the hospital oh, to have his appendix it. removed. Nah. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Get your priorities straight, Charters. Pussy move. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, we caught flack. I'm just saying we caught flack last week for letting you off the hook, right? Because we because the week before. Michael went on a, on a planned vacation. He gave us lots of notice that he wasn't going to be at the show. And uh, he, yeah, was, we had lots he was of accused of horrible things. <laughs> I can't even look his girlfriend in the eyes when she comes tonight because. She left early. Yeah, there's tension. <laughs> tension between us. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what happens when you miss a week of the show, uh, even when you're, uh, you know, in good standing. You know, uh, just a rate. And then you, Charters, the crowd, the, the listeners have come to enjoy uh, uh, you taking a beating for some reason. They, they like that the best. Weird. Like I can make fun of Wes. And then all they're saying is like, what's the problem? Wes is the coolest. Right. <laughs> they have no they don't want have any appetite for me making fun of Wes. They're like saying like Wes is going to kill you. I he, saw he's obviously tougher than you. I saw a Facebook post that said <laughs> not enough fucking with Charters last week. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, yeah, not, and you yeah. know who it was from? Yeah, I know. From Our my... goddamn sponsor who pays us to do the show. Yeah. Well, what Please do you flow. Yeah. So here you are. You know, I look like insensitive because your son's got a big operation. <laughs> but if I don't, if I don't uh, make fun of you in horrible fashion, I'm, we don't, we can't operate. The lights aren't going on. <laughs> You know, <laughs> because the sponsor loves it. He's grown to enjoy it. We got to pay the bills. Right. So I understand when you're not here because because our my sponsor, son, my son's doing fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the road to recovery. First day back at school today. Good news. Still walking. Yeah. Did you ask how last bit, week's but. show went, though? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I listened to it. And it <laughs> honestly. Since you use that word, it was probably the worst show I've ever heard in my life. Oh, really? My least favorite show ever. Are you serious? Because I'll tell you, Dave, that is not the reviews that we've gotten on that show at all. No, last week was okay. I'm thinking of the week before, actually, was the worst show ever. Which one was when that? When Michael wasn't here. What was it called? You, Do you remember yeah, who was I our guest? Know. It was called 432 uh, <laughs> Frequency or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jay Preston episode. <laughs> Oh, God. Was that the one? 432. I can't remember. I know I had to retune my guitar today. Were you at that one, too? Did you miss two weeks in a row? No, I was at that no, one. Oh, his mind was just fucked. <laughs> I was at that one. <laughs> What's that noise? Sometimes I don't know if the noises are in my head or in real life. It's like uh, one time, it's like when you go to Disney World and you go, and you, at one time I went to Disney World, my mom broke her ankle, and then I was, uh, we got to go like, uh, we had to take her like because it's emergency, so we had to take her behind the, in a tram behind mm -hmm. Disney World, where like uh, they you could see like Mickey Mouse heads hanging on a hook, you know, because uh, 
it's where they kept the costumes, you know. Like we were in behind Disney World, and uh, we saw all this these deer come out because it's like it's a uh, there's like deer everywhere. I guess it's a park or whatever. There's fucking deer. It's a forest, and uh, and I thought they were just robots, you know, because I had been in the park for so long. <laughs> like it's a small world. Yeah, same like, thing. I just thought when you see so many animatronic people and deer and stuff like that, you're like, those aren't real deer. They're just a robots, and they're they're a real deer, you know, because mm. you get used to it. What was my point? No, I don't know, but it was a tough go for Aunt Barb. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was I think terrible. Our family was there with you. Was that the same trip yeah, you guys went on? Don't go to uh, Disneyland and uh, fracture your ankle. It's a real Ooh. tough go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really hinder, yeah, it really hinders the fun. But you don't want to get fucked over when you go to the States. You don't want to get hurt when you go to the States or sick or anywhere, where you, you, or even in any country, right? Because then you have to, like, you don't have, have good coverage. Yeah, yeah, you need that stuff, right? Apparently, it sucks when you don't have it. Like when you, when you when you have it, you think you take it for granted. But you know, we're wasting fucking time. We sure are. So before we Get go to our guests, we need to uh, do a segment that we call feedback. We got feedback. We got feedback. <laughs> Welcome to Feedback. We got feedback. This week's feedback is brought to you by our friends from Amazon. If you'd like to go to our website, livefromthedutchhall.com, and click on our Amazon banner. And, hey, if you can't see our Amazon banner, shut off your uh, ad, ad blocker and it comes back on. <laughs> Not dipshits. It's an honest mistake, Wes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it, uh, and do your Christmas shopping, as some people have done. And thank you to those who have because it helps us make the show better. We started out with nothing, and we uh, – Really uh, put this all together with help from you guys, so thank you very much. And uh, also, you know what? Shout out to Norpac. Hey, the beef people. Hey, it sounded just like Paul. <laughs> the beef people. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, someone hit you him. He's, 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 in, he's in a loop. He's in a loop. Paul's name when he says it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody gave me a nudge and I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you know this new setup. I actually uh, the the new setup. I I don't see Paul now. And right. so that I forget he's here sometimes, but then, but the beef people, he's always there for his job. But uh, so I appreciate it. You know, if it wasn't for Paul, Norpak, the beef people, wouldn't even have a real presence on the show. That's right. Because there'd be no nothing to really rem, uh, remind our listeners that Norpak, the beef people, are the beef people. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a great ad. And Michael, you said that. Uh, yeah, I had a yeah. I had a bit of a chat with uh, one of the owners of Norpak, a good the friend of mine. People, and, exactly. <laughs> and I tell you, he was uh, looking forward to listening to the show, and uh, he was in the Christmas Christmas spirit of giving. Whoa! And he wanted to talk to Pete and maybe uh, send some uh, funds our way to make sure that things were okay. What he really needs is uh, if he feels guilt, you can always absolve guilt <laughs> with with. With pepperettes, yep. pepperettes where it's, it's, or, or uh, steaks will do, yeah, or even a steak, or yeah. even yeah. What you could do Half is like, uh, yeah, just put a side of beef on the back of some sort of a uh, like flatbed truck <laughs> and deliver it to my cousin Michael's, and we'll just go have a have a nice butchering day, and we'll call it even, yeah, and then yeah, even Stephen, no big deal. Hey. We like you. We'll get freezers. What up, Norwich? <laughs> we'll get freezers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get freezers. We'll figure it out. So, uh, and uh, you know what? While we're doing sponsors, I'm gonna, I, I have to talk about your Army Electric oh, just for yes. one minute. Our old friend. Oh, this is a Christmas season, you know? I, I just think it's getting started. Once you get past American Thanksgiving, it's, it turns into Christmas season, right? Right away. Yeah. Right? And uh, when I think about that, I think about my cousin Derek Yarmy of Yarmy Electric. And I think about how hard that man works. I think about how many children that man has produced, right? He's potent. He's p- <laughs> he is so goddamn fertile, and you know what? He does not let his in, uh, his uh, his lust for uh, planting deep into his wife's l- womb uh, stop him from being one of the busiest and most prolific electricians in the area that I know. But what we doesn't need in the Christmas season. Is you say, oh, my Christmas lights are, uh, they, for some reason, they're making my toaster glow or whatever your fucking problem is. I don't care. My I smell something funny. You know, yeah, my, 
He, this man is busy. <laughs> he's got real fish to fry. He doesn't yeah. have time. He's he 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 is. Like, you know, he does volunteer work for the community. He's a firefighter. Yeah. The you man. Water your trees. What more do you want from this fucking guy? Leave him alone. Derek, the Army Electric, if we don't get it right the first time, we'll get it right the second time. And if we don't get it right the second time... You can go fuck yourself. He's fucking busy. And <laughs> the Christmas season is approaching. And you know, a lot of Christmas parties, some people, uh, actually, you, Michael, uh, you won't believe this. Okay. But uh, some people have Christmas parties where they get together with their family, and they dread it. I don't believe this. Mm. love my family. They don't enjoy it at all. You want to know why? Why is that? Your family's a bunch of lame drips, bunch of like watching shit. fucking That's paint dry, Oof. right? That's a tough go. How, what, what do you think eating some Christmas dinner past the cranberry sauce with some buddy that just wants to talk about, like, a miniature uh, <laughs> statuettes that he paints in his spare time? <laughs> Come down and oh, look yeah. at him. Oh, I have the whole Civil War. Uh, diorama. His, diorama. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that sounds like a ton of fun. You know, I'd rather jump off a cliff. You know what you could do? You know what? You know what? We've never had at the Van Dyke family Christmas a bad time. No. Not once. Nope. You want to know why? Because uh, it, we're a super fun family. And that's why we came up with Van Dyke Party Services. Mm-hmm. What we'll do is send you between five and twenty nine Van Dyke first cousins in bright yellow jackets. And all it's going to cost you is one hundred dollars of cold hard cash plus all of our expenses, which will be dear. And if you're not 100% satisfied and had the time of your life, uh, we will return that $100. But those expenses have run through our bodies and potentially yours. Hopefully. Van Dyke Party Services. Don't live your life in regret. Brought to you by our good friends at Clean Flow. Yes. The best sponsor ever. Yeah, and we got them all of the way, right? Done. Yay. So now we go to the, uh, our feedback, and we like to uh, tell people. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give us feedback. <laughs> I like it so much. Uh, <laughs> go to live from the Dutch all at gmail.com or you can go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, send us your tits just for five seconds. Did you say tits? Oh, <laughs> send us totally your tits. Said, Isn't that Snapchat? That'll work. Does anyone know how that works? No. I, I, I gave up on uh, s- with Snapchat. I, I actually own it, it's but I've never it used it. It goes away right away. That's why they show your boobs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, or whatnot. <laughs> you ever got a boob picture? Never, ever. You ever yeah. seen a friend that had a boot picture sent by a real life girl? Nope. That su- that showed his phone to you and said, "Look at this girl." No, because that's I think that's the trick to that thing is that like you get it and they're like, "Oh, here's a titty shot," and it goes away, right away. So they're like, it's just something personal to them. Okay, I'm just gonna chargers. Are you gonna speak up? I was just gonna say unless you screenshot it. There you go. Yeah, then but then you have they it know. forever. They know if you screenshot it. You guys yeah. don't know that trick, you old fucks. No, no, that is the no. I'm not. No, this is the difference between old fucks. This is the, and, and uh, this we would we don't care that they know we took the screenshot. Yeah. You uh, you sent us your tits. Yeah, and this is this is what like I'm the creeper. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I was actually going to get to that. Charters is why I said charters don't speak because I knew he had the answer right off the top of the head. Like boom, it came to his head. screenshot. Boom. <laughs> right away, an old dirtbag like that. Old married man, you Solid know. Problems, but that's deep do. down, he really wants that, like, go after that strange, you know, like in his core who he is, right? <laughs> he knows his dirtbag moves. That If he was going to not be a good Christian family man like what he is now, and he wanted to go to the dark side, he would, like, screenshot that, that girl's titties. And he'd carry it around and show his buddies at work. <laughs> but meanwhile, she on the other end is like, your shot has been screenshotted by D Charters. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have sent it. <laughs> Good point, David. Well played. Yeah. I see nothing wrong with that at all. Pete Van Dyke uh, screenshotted it, and I would hope there'd be like a picture of me with thumbs up. <laughs> or, and, down. Uh, and or, I, down. <laughs> or down. Or <laughs> down. Uh, um, <laughs> so. We ask people for feedback, <laughs> and uh, this week we got a bunch, because oh, you know what? Right. I, I heard a great listener here. Uh, Teresa came from the Second Mouse in Delhi. Oh, yeah. A recent, a recent super fan to the show. 
We had invited her to come in to the uh, to the Dutch Hall today. We have yeah. a bunch of special guests here today. Sure do. Patrice is one of them. And when Teresa uh, sent some uh, feedback out last week, <laughs> and when she, it was just it was uh, along the line. She always does it on Podbean, and I uh, get to read it every week, and it's very and I like it a lot. That's why she got the invite in because she's a, a super fan. She got the uh, that's a real designation. It's not it's no joke, and. Uh, so she sent out some. She says she has to like do uh, go in the back room and every once in a while hit pause. Right, right, Teresa. Can you swing the mic over for her? You have to. S- no, I don't go in the back room. I just listen to it, and just in case some customer comes in, I have to have the phone close enough that I hit pause immediately because I never know what's coming next. Oh, this is right in the shop. <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody you got to ask might- people that they're cool, eh? Like if a guy comes into your shop, right? He's and you and uh, you, he's got a Dutch Hall shirt on, you know. Then you would be like, uh, you'd know. I wouldn't hit pause. Yeah, yeah. you'd be like, you're going to play it, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. We got an underground thing going here. I like it. A cult. It's a cult. Why do you have to hit pause? Somebody it's not so much a cult. Uh, what? <laughs> you're not allowed to say. Other words? <laughs> yeah. You can't sell. Yeah, you got to sell cheese to everybody. And people that buy cheese are fancy people, right? That don't like us saying, saying I, the shit we say. I buy cheese. <laughs> oh, I didn't say they're all fancy. Uh, but when you sent out that feedback, Teresa, there was a girl, Ella Steppa Jones. She says, uh, "I keep my office door closed Friday." Oh, uh, sorry, I keep my office door closed Friday mornings. That's her strategy in response to yours. Keep on keeping on, Dutch Hall. That was Ella what up? What up? Ella. Jones. Yeah, you know Ella. Fantastic, Remember Ella? yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah, she's a big supporter of the show. Former yeah. listener Happy of the week, Friday. I believe. Former listener of the week, too. Former listener of the week. Uh, I, super fan status? I don't know yet. Just she's on the, on the doorstep. We'll, we'll see, see where it on takes the us. I don't just throw it away. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we also got some feedback <laughs> from a guy who is a super fan. A hey, Ben designated multiple time listener of the week. Bruce Veltry Bruce. is back oh, again. What up, Bruce? Bruce says, hello, Peter and crew. I have been a regular listener for a couple of years now. You were, at the time, the first podcast I ever listened to. Aww. Since then, I have turned into, I have uh, tuned in to Bill Burr, Joe Rogan, Norm MacDonald, and others. You're welcome, all those people, is what I, and I actually <laughs> went on Twitter and I at tagged them at Norm Macdonald at Bill Burr at Joe Rogan. I'm like, I gave you one fucking listener. You're welcome. You know, like, <laughs> uh, still no response from from uh, from their camps. No response. They they I think might side with the Wikipedia people on my <laughs> I- insignificance, Ir- right? Irrelevance. My irrelevance. Uh, but they they have a point. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim F. Bleak. <laughs> yeah, Jim, you remember that fucking guy, cock. Jim F. Bleak? Yeah. Yeah, we'll never forget Jim F. Bleak, that cocksucker. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> podcasts are now a part of my life, and I have you to thank for it. Just to think it all started in a pool shed in Pine Grove. Thanks, Pete, and keep Great. up the good work. Woo. And uh, Thanks, that's Bruce Valtry. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Ella or Bruce, who gets the listener of the week? Oh. Or the girl of bright cheese that's sitting in the room. Say, yeah. The cheese. It's cheese. Lady. Bring us shit. Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa. The the I'll take it. This is your week. Thank you, this is your Teresa. Week. This is your week. You are the listener of the week. <laughs> and you know what? Cheese. Before we get through a segment of feedback, we got to look. We got to uh, uh, check up with our good buddy. He's been with us since the very beginning of the show, since episode one. He's our good buddy, the Haitian Dwarf. My bass and drum will make you come. Hi ho, hi ho. Yeah. So, Asian Dwarf, he Ooh. gives us uh, feedback every week on iTunes. And this week, he gave us five stars on iTunes. That's five. And he, he entitles this week's uh, uh, feedback Star Studded. Man. 
He says, with, with such an all-star group of comics visiting Norfolk County at the same time, who's left to play the big shows at Vegas? Whoa. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yes. And I can see how he would think that from the amount of humor we had on the show last week. But it turns out we're all a bunch of uh, very low-level uh, comedians <laughs> who would be unwelcome in Vegas <laughs> for multiple reasons. Uh, number one, our talent level is not good enough. <laughs> number two, we have no working visa. <laughs> and also uh, 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 the various uh, charges and such <laughs> to get across the border and that. Hmm. That'll do it. Yeah. So uh, I see how you would think that, but it's it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Disappointing segment, <laughs> really. <laughs> Two gold. I'm going to die of disappointment. on the <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> so that's it this week for feedback. We got feedback. <laughs> if you'd like to give us uh, any feedback in the future, <laughs> you know how to do it. Go to live from the Dutch Hall gmail.com or you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and our Instagram. We're at we're Dutch Hall on those things. And uh <laughs> tell a friend and uh, help share the show. Now, I would I just want to now is a great pleasure of mine to introduce our guest tonight. Our guest tonight, if you, I said, as I said before, if you've been anywhere in Norfolk County and you've uh, watched live music or been at a bar, if you have been paying attention, you've probably seen these guys in the background because they've been everywhere. They play gigs everywhere. They're kind of the part of the fabric of Norfolk County's music scene, I think. Yeah, they are. And uh, they're a bunch of really great guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Shoe Shine Boys. All right. Talk to you and me down and now, did ya? Thought you broke my spirit, baby, did ya? Well, it seems to me I'll be back on my feet again. Hey, I will survive. I'm alive and kicking. I'm alive and kicking. Yes, I'm alive and kicking. I'm alive and Said you'd always be there for me, did ya? You said that it would last forever, did ya? Well, it seems to me I'll be back on my feet again. Hey, I will survive. I'm alive and kicking. I'm alive and kicking. Yes, I'm alive and kicking. I'm alive and kicking. Come on, boys. That's it, that's it. Yes, two-way streets are always out there, aren't they? You separating, I love them, aren't they? Well, it seems to me I'll be back on my feet again. 
Hey, I will survive i I'm alive and kicking I'm alive and kicking Yes, I'm alive and kicking Yeah, I'm alive and kicking Yes, I'm alive and kicking I'm alive and kicking Yes, I'm alive and kicking I'm alive and kicking All right. Yeah. The Shoeshine Boys, everybody. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. I cut out all that. I'll cut out all that uh, jibber jabber. And that introduction will go right into like it sound <laughs> beautiful. Smooth as butter. Yeah, it'll be smooth as butter. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in, guys. I like to, uh, Thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I really am pleased to have it in because it's a real treat. All Everything sounds better. You got the theme song. Like, Charters wrote that thing. And uh, job well done. it's different every time uh, we have acts in that are that are doing this. So it's great. And you guys, uh, Tony, uh, Tony Duclos, uh, I met you at Bushstock this year. Yeah. And uh, pardon? Good times. Sure yeah, was. it was great times. Make sure, can you get, get, get in close? Uh, <laughs> if you could if you could please, could you please introduce your band for us just so we get, know everybody? Because I've yeah. made a lot of choices in my life that uh, make my memory a very yeah. not good. Uh, <laughs> this is Kevin Robinson from Semco right here. All right. Playing on bass. Know. He's our guitar player. Hey. Our guitar. We all sing. It's Dave Baker on bass. Oh, hey, right. Semco also. Four stringer. Four Good stringer. Times. Rick Van Ryzen. No stringer. Yes. Oh, you're a Dutchman. Yes. The Dutchman of the band. Oh, yes, me. Looks it's after our finances. Doesn't give us nothing. It is great. Bobby Banks from Paris, Ontario. Sweet. Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Oh. And, and Tony Duclos, of course. Tony yeah, Duclos. selfish. <laughs> and you guys, uh, so uh, you guys have played for uh, for how long have you been together? Too long. I mean, uh, <laughs> twenty years or so. Really, that long? Yeah, it's pushing twenty, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How did you guys all like uh, meet each other? Like, how do you know each other? I'm the new guy. I've been here for fourteen. <laughs> oh, really? Fourteen yeah, years. That's, that's cool. yeah. wow. We didn't let him play guitar at first. He was. He's still he, cutting his teeth. He was our that's sax what we're player. saying. Saxophones. <laughs> yeah. Saxophone. You started out, yeah. that's how long you've been playing when there used to be a sax in the band. Then, well, our, our yeah. other guitar player, Barry MacArthur, he retired. And uh, so he said, Bobby, all right, get your guitar out. He said, oh, my God. <laughs> a few bands evolved before this band, but uh, yeah. this has been the core for the last 15 or 11, 12, anyways, for sure. Yeah. Got a few different members that yeah. have been Come with us. Go. Ryan Morrison was an original yeah. member. Jay Anderson was an original member. Marco. Marco, Marco, oh, so Marco wrote, Wright was yeah. our bass player for many years. Then yeah. so, came back. So out of you guys, who's original? Kevin and I. Oh, just the two of you. And how do you know each other? High school. Oh, high school, I guess. Years of music in high school. And you grew, uh, grew up uh, locally, yeah, like Norfolk we County boys? Girl, we had the same girlfriend for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so you guys have a, what's that call, What's that called? You know how we the found Apple out? Tower? Not monogamy. I was going through his records, and I was like, there's this, this Wall album. I pulled this album out, Pink Floyd, and I opened That's up. I go, I wrote all that stuff on there. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah. How'd you get that? And she scratched it out and said to Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What, True story. What's that called when you have uh, <laughs> when you have uh, slept with the same girl? You have like a deja vu. What? <laughs> AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> sort of a connection. Yeah. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> you know. You how, about, how about an awkwardness? Sometimes that sometimes. was what made me. Yeah. I think it's okay as long as you get the name straight. <laughs> <laughs> so were you? Did you? When you started in the band, were you guys? Uh, were you guys single men? Yes. Yeah, the whole band was single. I still think. are. Well, yeah. For the most part. <laughs> still are for the most part single? Yeah. Bobby was They were married. all Bobby single. Was, I was married. And now they're married, all married and I'm single. single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it just went like that. You just flipped. Yeah. 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 And taught them. <laughs> and it doesn't stand for stay intoxicated, get night yeah. late, late every day, and that, whatever the hell they say. It's, it's, weird, getting, it's weird getting in trouble for booking gigs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Eh? Like, uh, Are you, uh, like, to try to balance everything out because like when you're trying to do something that's no matter what it is if you're doing something that's a bit in the creative field you're gonna have to do it uh for uh, less than you put into it you know what i mean yeah like uh if you work in a line of work where you're like uh you know uh fasting widgets at, at the widget plant or whatever <laughs> coswell cogs yeah coswell <laughs> cogs you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna end up uh like making more money than a guy who's like proficient 
in a field of creativity. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so you guys have to be driven somehow to do this, you know, uh, through it's something that you can't really. I, how do you explain what, what drives you to yeah. do it? It's about the music. You give it's up hunting, the music, you yeah. give up hockey, you give up. You guys are right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's about the music. It's all about you the give music. Give up all that fun stuff you used to do. But it's like the joke about you what? get you got five thousand dollars worth of equipment, you load it into a five hundred dollar vehicle, and you go play for fifty bucks. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yes, you know? yes thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. That's yeah. exactly what. I'm still trying to pay for the PA. Bought fifteen years. Ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there's something that makes you do it because sometimes you guys have to play to rooms that are like, oh my god, you know, like. Why do St. we bother Thomas. doing all this work? We glug the gear and, you know. We, we just call that a paid practice. Well, you know <laughs> yeah. what? You actually, we don't you, practice. You do. You get grouchy at first, and then you walk in, and the atmosphere starts to There's get always you. You one start or two playing. You, know? you play for that. Oh, yeah. 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 You play for that one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we play for each other. So, so, yeah, so, good call. so okay. that's, yeah. we, I've asked other bands the same question. Like, like, so then that's the way you do it. You're just like, if there's one person there, yep. then you're like, you treat it like it's a room full of people. Like, yep. you don't play any different. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think the show's better most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just play to the this bartender. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are that ace yeah. Nice. Like, I like what you said. It's a paid practice. Yeah, I think it's a like paid practice. We were practice, talking about man. that with the comedians last week. Like, you know, you just work through it regardless of the room. Yeah. Like, hey, it's good or bad. I've seen, like, it's great when it's good, but if, you know, it's yeah. you get, you're paid. You're getting paid. You know, so you yeah, got to keep working. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially if you're getting they're paid. Yeah. Yeah. And you love it. A lot of times in, com- in comedy, we got to play rooms, of like empty rooms. Where they're not really empty. There's like a couple of old drunks at the bar who are th- going to be there whether we're there or not. And they actually hate the fact that we're interrupting the hockey game or whatever we're doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, so. NASCAR. Yeah, we get that too. So when we're performing it for them, you know, like they, they like, and you can make them laugh, then you're like, okay, I got something, you know, at least like. That's why I always think like it's not. I still have an opportunity. That that guy that hates me right now is the uh, one that I can, if I tell him a joke that makes him laugh, then I can tell that joke in a big room, and then I I know it's gonna work, right? But uh, you know, those are the that's all you can do is try to get that out of it, because otherwise you've just said I, I fucking made a mistake. <laughs> I should go home to my family, you know? Like yeah. I really should. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Yeah, those it feels like that sometimes. Yeah, it does. It does make it does make you wonder once in a while, but. <laughs> it is. Sure it's, it you put yeah. your you put your heart and soul in it. If somebody's tapping their fingers, you know, that's that's it right there. You know, you know you're doing your job. Yeah, yeah. Right. If they got a smile on their face, if they're tapping their toes, mm-hmm. that's it. And that's right why we. There. Yeah, there's a nice little headphone in early. We're back. Hey. All right. Hey. Another thing that I'm going to take out for the magic of, of uh, <laughs> editing. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Um, <laughs> where were we before that? We were talking about. Uh, we're talking about the band. Feedback. And grinding it out. Oh yeah, grinding it out, grinding it out. Yeah, playing playing chick gigs and stuff like that. Do you have one? This is also a question I ask all the bands that come in. Do you have one hell gig that sticks out? You said St. Thomas as it comes. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Everyone yeah. said St. Thomas. <laughs> Tell us about St. Thomas. I, actually, I've got one from a different band years ago. In 1990, I played a three nighter in Hamilton. I can't remember the name of the bar, and it was empty. It was that good, eh? It was that good, oh, okay, Ricky. Good. One lady <laughs> came it. in on Saturday night and kicked off her dirty bunny slippers and her sweatpants and just <laughs> boogied the whole night oh, down. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. All you needed to say was sweatpants. And it was as good as it right looked. There. Yeah. It was just as good as it sound. <laughs> Sounds like, yeah. Queen of the silver dollar. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that St. Thomas, though? No, it was, uh, was some place in Hamilton. Hamilton. What happened yeah. to St. Thomas? If there, some agent, I can't remember who it was. Is that that uh, Hagland. Harry Hagland. Gary, Gary, yeah, yeah, Even yeah. just the name says it right there, Harry. <laughs> Harry Hagland. <laughs> kind of like Haggis, only he different. Us, he booked us at this, this place there, and they were a country bar, and they were going to go rock and change it over and try and bring in a younger crowd or whatever, right? New crowd. So we were the first band to go in there. Yes. And we're the Shoeshine Boys Blues Band. Yeah. So then they had this. this was he Dutch? <laughs> I, no, I, I don't. From yeah, he was Sweden. He was Swedish. You're not Swedish. Yes. Don't play with them, dude. He was from Sweden. He was not from Holland. He was, he was from Sweden. Yeah, he, 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 he was not from Holland. He's not from Holland. He got pretty upset. But uh, they were talking contract gap and stuff like that. And we didn't play rock like we thought. We were playing all this blues stuff, and the audience was getting upset. What was the song we played over and over again? Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Steve Miller Band. Steve Miller Band. That's right. Uh, Come on and dance. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a rawhide yeah. movement oh, yeah. moment oh, yeah. from oh, yeah. the Blues Brothers. Yeah, yeah definitely. Really the really Blues Brothers yeah. movie. That right. was it, right there. Some, some really cool ab- no chicken up. wire. Some really cool Aboriginal people were there, and they were the only fuckers that liked what we were doing. So we just partied with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just have to this, take what you can get. Oh, this Absolutely. One girl oh, yeah. Was yeah. Getting violent. She was really mad at us, and then we got in a fight with the owner. So that was Friday night. Was you, had, you had to play a matinee Saturday afternoon. Then oh, you had to really? play a Saturday night. Fuck. Old school, right? Yeah. And it was like, oh, no, really? Matinee? So we played the matinee. Kevin and Red. And Sunday. And Red, <laughs> the fellow that retired, they stayed in the room. Rick and I, we drove back to Simcoe. We took yeah, we were kind of smart that way, just saying. You guys were itchy for a while, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's just say when they give you a room. Wow, they give you a room. Don't. Yeah, sure. well, we oh, yeah. together thinking that we might be able to get rid of them together. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't let the bad bugs bite. That's right. Yeah, it wasn't uh, nice. That we're not sure what kind of bugs were in there. Clothes, that was the end of our tour. Yeah. <laughs> no more. No, that was a quick no tour. No more than a 20-minute drive anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Is that your circle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come together, fest once in a while. This is, yeah. the, this is on the border of where we go. Yeah. It's here. a cusp. Yeah, you're It's a cusp. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, is uh, charity gigs, right? Yeah. Because uh, uh, I think it also when you're talking about, like, some for some reason I find when you're talking about something like you're booking a gig creatively or whatever, an entertainment gig, if you're going to say, like, I'm going to book the gig and it's going to be so that I can, like, make money so that I can eat, right? People don't give a shit, right? Pretty much, yeah. But if you say I want to do it for a good cause. Oh, they're all coming out. And then they all come out and you can still you can still eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that uh, um, that's something that took me a while to figure out, you know. I'm still not fig- – I've just barely figured it out, actually. Yeah. But, uh, like, you guys have done a lot of stuff for the community as a result. Cornstock. And yeah, yeah, Cornstock. Yeah, and Tony's original right there. Yeah, yeah, that's – and uh, Cornstock, we, we did a lot of work here on Live from the Dutch Hall to promote Bushstock last year. But uh, Cornstock is another thing that we had locally, and then you guys have been putting that on for, or Tony's been putting it on for years. And, 13 uh, years this year. Wow. 13 years. So, so uh, and, uh, and it's done a lot to help the community. And, uh, Tony, I was just hoping you could share the story you told me um, about how with, with, with uh, Sticks and Picks and with what you guys did at Cornstock, you were able to help that kid out. Yeah, we have a, a young kid who lost his father recently. I just gave Ryan Vandenbush a call, and he was right on it. Uh, both our programs uh, provide different stuff. Like uh, Sticks and Picks does a thing with Erie Music where they provide music lessons for up to 60 kids. And then us, we have a we made a lot of money this year, so we've been buying instruments for all the different schools. So we, thought we bought this kid a guitar, and then uh, Sticks and Picks got him the lessons. And we're going to set him right up. And, Oh, that's you know. amazing. And it's awesome. just, uh, they, they're friends, of, the, they're friends of all of us. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 That's all about. But that's, what it, that's how it works around. You know, we all get together, and it's, it's not us that's doing it. It's uh, friends of ours that have asked us to be there, right? So we're there, right? Right, right. And, and literally, it was like sticks and picks with the phone going, hey, you guys in? And yeah, bam. Just yeah. Email the person, and it'll happen. Yeah. So, and, and so I got to ask you, just as this out of curiosity, what's the – what happened first was it did did you did you do the charity stuff because you wanted because uh it came like it came to you or did you do it because you knew it would be like a big it would work for the show and then it then uh it ended up being a nice thing over time they ended up uh liking and stuff like could you see the help that happened like what happens first we we, we were a band we were a band and we just we got to be honest we got really good and we were really jiving and digging it and uh then naturally you do charities for that reason. It's, it, you know, it works. Charities get you gigs, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, but we're all involved in our community. I mean, I mean, the Lions Club is always different clubs, the Rotary Club, all of them. We've all grew up around the area. I used to coach hockey, so I was involved in, in with a lot of these different people that, that are who did it club members and all yeah. that stuff. So we are, we, you know, so they you get involved with them. And then, I mean, it just eventually you just realize that it comes back, you know, at some point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It gets too far sometimes. Too many people jump on, you know, jump on it on the bandwagons. But you can just pick them, right? You know, there's there's a lot of good causes out there. Just get on board, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it ends up being stocks like that, right? There's 21 bands that play at Cornstock, and they all do it for free. It's not, you know, it's it's that that makes it happen. It's yeah, yeah. Free sound guy, you know, he comes out and throws it all up, you know, and all that stuff, you know, all that. You know, yeah, it's amazing how, how when that stuff comes together and you can really get accomplish yeah, great things, you know. Graphic designers that you know draw you posters, you know. And yeah. So, 
I, I can't believe it. It's, it's a hard thing because you, you need those people to give you Likewise, give you stuff for free so you can pull that stuff off. Yeah. But then you but then you devalue their work at the same time because you know how can a guy make money when someone's going to do it for free? Yeah. And then it's a, that same thing. That's it's like a, it's Vicious chasing circle. your tail, eh? It's just like, yeah, no no doubt. Well, I wanted to say there was two people that came to today's show just because. Well, I should say one person in particular that came to today's show because he's such a fan of the Shoeshine Boys, and it's a it's my cousin Eves Van Dyke, yeah. and today he was he actually brought in another guest. Uh, new to the country, I believe. Eh? Is it Eves? Is he new to the country? Oh, uh, yes, this is my brother. He is uh, fresh, fresh off the uh, boat. His name is Case. Oh, really? Yes, Case. Uh, Case, how, uh, how do you uh, how do you yes. find uh, Canada yes. so far? I like it very much. <laughs> it feels like I've been here for three days. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. <laughs> but I really like it. Yes, it's, yes, it's very nice. He has traveled yes. many kilometers to come see Canada. Cousins. Yes family. I so, uh, uh, what is your brother's name? Keish. Keish. Oh, Keish. Uh, of Just course. in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you don't know. If, if you forget, it's just in case. He is fresh out of the uh, university uh, segment called Utrecht of Holland. <laughs> university, they learn the uh, knowledge, <laughs> the learning, and he comes here to Canada to meet the family. And uh, his uh, mother and yes. his father. Yes, we, we, we learn how to speak English. Not so good. <laughs> how do you say, uh, fucking it up? Yes. <laughs> or in my country, you say, oh, hey. I am not I am not good. Ach, ja. <laughs> Ach, ja. Schwell. Sometimes I just want to say, Schwat? Schwat, what am I doing here? <laughs> this K is what I say. Kish, they're, yes. all, they're all laughing at you. I don't know. I don't know why it's so funny. Why, why they laugh? This is crazy. I, have I no don't know. I have no idea. I okay. think it's a keeper. It is a keeper. It is a keeper. Yes. I think you are a keeper. Okay. Oh, don't put it in the box. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wrap it from the box. <laughs> yes. Casey, are you enjoying the Shoeshine Boys so far? Do you enjoy their music? They are very talented. It's something very nice. Yes. Yes. Uh, but I need to say, what are they doing here? <laughs> Sometimes. It's good. Uh, Kesh, tell them how you like the cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes? I like cigarettes and cigarettes and foam. Smoking? Smoking a pancake. <laughs> yes. Pipe in a clay? Shake a knack and a waffle. <laughs> I take it all. Sounds good. Well, I'm very happy to meet you, Case. I hope you enjoy very Canada. It is my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> very and nice. uh, Eve, yes. thank you for bringing him in. Yes, no problem. Thank, thank uh, my cousin. You thank are Thank my well. cousin, Michael. Yeah, how's it going in the greenhouse? Uh, sh tending to them. Uh, the tulips uh, in season, out of season, it doesn't matter. They're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. I'm sorry. Uh, shoe shine, boys. I'm sorry. I, I hope you don't mind the interruption there. Um, we just, uh, uh, what else? Is there anything, uh, guys, in the nocturnal emissions, as a, I would say, like, when you guys are looking at yourselves in the mirror, right? And then you compare yourself to the shoe shine, boys, you know, tonight. Mm -hmm. you, you're here. Mm -hmm. And especially it's at one point in time, where they just nailed like a few songs because they played it like for like forever together and they're like they they're so tight and they know how to do everything without <laughs> trying, That's right? right? <laughs> and you guys, I make you learn a new song every week, and uh, that you've never played before, and to make you do it in like ten minutes, right? And so most of the time, you guys sound like shit, to be quite honest, right? <laughs> and <laughs> admittedly, right? And then uh, you practice very little. And then so then uh, these guys uh, <laughs> these guys good. come in. That's good. And then I make uh, then I make you like play a song that uh, you're gonna play in Swazis tomorrow, right in front of them. Like, yeah. and then uh, Steve says to me like, uh, "What do you uh, like? Like, like really? uh, you said really like that? Right now? Uh, why did you say that? Do you, is it because that you were you were you were uh, embarrassed to do it in front of the Shoeshine Boys? Uh, not necessarily that. It sort of seemed like a, a wasted opportunity. We could have played something else. But instead, we played <laughs> this really complicated song. Anyway, but you, but that that was when I said like it was when we were just saying like you should play a song, any song, right? right? Then uh, then you were apprehensive. Yes. Why was that? It was the song choice. It was too difficult. Uh, okay. Can't. We'll agree to disagree <laughs> on this one. That was a path I went down. I went nowhere because it happened before. You can't just say that because it happened before. You didn't have a song choice yet. 
Okay. Voice yeah. Anyways, that was a. <laughs> I wish you could edit this one out. I'll uh, take door. this one out too. Please I do. felt intimidated. That's what I wanted. <laughs> was that what it was? I thought that's what it was, but he was. It was song choice because it was complicated. But there was a million songs you could have chose. I didn't choose it. Oh, uh, who did <laughs> Charters? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Diva Dave. <laughs> okay. That, my opinion was is it's not intimidation. It's just uh, it's cool to hear a band jam yeah. like that, and we're lucky to play with them, period. Yeah. It's like, let's just keep jamming because it's so much fun. <laughs> right. I don't well, care about the shit I we think, play. Like, that's, right. that's let's a just keep. Fun. Like, well, actually, fun. to be honest with you, I hope you give me shit back. That's what I was, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> You're supposed to show balls. You're the nocturnal emissions. We don't give a fuck. You we should be not intimidated by the shoeshine boys, no matter no. what they did. You should be able to play with them as we're going to on the way out. Goddamn where right. we're going to showcase both of you at the same time. How, how lucky and if I'm going to bully you and tell you that you're not as good as the Shoeshine Boys, say go fuck yourself. then I hope that you'd have <laughs> enough balls to stand up for yourself and say, I think I can hang with these fucking guys. Yeah, they're pretty fucking cool. Right? So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm proud of what you're doing. <laughs> but I think it's really Wes being the anchor. Because he's silent strength is what he is. <laughs> he's silent strength and he brought you through this. Girth. Anyway, Shoeshine Boys, I wanted to ask you one question. Have you ever had a uh, issue with a person in the audience where you uh, couldn't take it anymore? Yeah. And uh, where you, <laughs> where you uh, just couldn't stand to have that person in the oh, room? Many times. Yeah, really? Too much, like drunks, mostly? Yeah, we had one a couple, couple yeah. Yeah. gigs ago, didn't we, in Dover? At the Norfolk. Yeah, yeah one, older, one fellow was a little ripped, a little hard, and right in your face. Dude, awesome. Right. And singing other songs. <laughs> <laughs> you see it's your friends so you can handle it, right? Yeah. yeah. Your band sucks. Yeah. yeah. All right, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you don't know them, you just want to drop them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly true. <laughs> um, yeah, it happens. We had one thing that we wanted to, that I was going to, sh- uh, what happened there? <laughs> it hasn't been on all show. Can you touch that button, please? Ha- See, Beaver is of use. Touch it. We got one thing we were going to show you to end the show. It's just a... B- no, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're talking about cocks. <laughs> we got one thing. We're going to end the show with just uh, this clip that I wanted to show you. And it's kind of... It's a, it's it's not in the music world, but it's in, uh, it's in uh, the comedy world. But, G- but uh, yeah, there's music too, yeah? And there's this, it's this guy, it's the name of, uh, it's a, it's a comic, I think out of, he's in Oklahoma, crunchy guy. I might as well just play it from the beginning here, and we'll show you this dude, is set, oh, for fuck's sakes, I might as well not. <laughs> there it is. There it goes. Oh, yeah, anyways. Problems with technology. There's this dude, he's on stage, I wish I had the sound in my, uh, Bluetooth, but. He's dealing with a heckler here. And you can see he's a guitar act. His heckling, his his way of dealing with the heckler is actually shit at first. He's like real hack about it. He's just saying like he's uh, uh, he I might have to skip ahead. His jokes are actually fucking awful, right? Like he's not a, he's not actually the greatest of comedians. But the payoff is more. Uh, that's the joke. I don't come to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working. And then he says, come at me. Oh. Did he honky tonk man, that guy? He, yeah. Wayne Ferris did. Yeah, he honky tonk Max. That's a 12 string smash right over the head. The crowd turned on him. <laughs> Great shit. <laughs> That's the best. When you think you're... You know, this guy was actually playing that guitar. Probably liked the guitar. And then uh, when the guy was going to come up on stage, he said, come at me, man. Right? And the guy came at him. <laughs> He's by the neck. He says, come at me, man. And the guy came at him like, you deserve to get hit by a guitar. I, I want to ask what your opinion is as the band. <laughs> is, there any other, is there any other side to the story? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you have to escalate that far? You know, sometimes yeah. you just have to yeah. shake stuff like that off. 
Right, right. You know, like it, he kind of let it. He kind of the reason the crowd turned on him was because he let the guy get to him. Yeah, yeah. It's like driving a pirillator truck. You know, you got to listen to little <laughs> fuckers <laughs> get in your face all day long. Uh, little yeah. shits this high. You know? Why are you leaving? receiving? Is in the back. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All you keep thinking is sixty thousand dollars a year, thirty bucks an hour, thirty dollars an hour, sixty thousand dollars a year. Okay. Yeah, health, health benefits. Yeah. <laughs> I get my medicine. Dangle, dangle. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. How am I gonna get those pills cheap if I? <laughs> yeah, that long hair don't quite cover up his red neck. Yeah. <laughs> and when you uh, when you get hit by a real guitar, has anyone ever seen that in real life? That's a real odd thing. Yeah. No one wants to rip no. their guitar. Willie Nelson has. <laughs> yeah. He still plays it. <laughs> yeah, he's got. Yeah. What's that thing called? You know? I don't know. Oh yeah, but he's had that same guitar forever, and it's yeah. like yeah. Beat, beat the hell up. Yeah. That's right? why I think his wife called it the hammer. <laughs> oh. Wham! <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh my god. Ouch, Willie. Ouch, yeah. indeed. Oh Willie. Is Willie uh, like uh, he, he used to beat his wife with a guitar? No, she hit him with it. Oh, she oh, hit him oh, with yeah, it. Yeah, she hit him with it. Well, that's yeah. okay. Oh, that's okay then. That changes yeah. everything. Yes, yes. In today's environment, <laughs> yes, we want to make sure the men are the victims. That's right. <laughs> that's the most important. <laughs> yeah. We want to respect all women. Men are just the worst. Yeah. 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 Don't tell anybody that time I jerked off in front of you, please. <laughs> hit me with a guitar. <laughs> that's what all these guys are saying right now. All these dirt bags everywhere. Um <laughs> We are uh, we are coming uh, to the end of this show, no, but before we do that, we got to plug our gigs, which is Swazi's tomorrow night hey, at yeah. Waterford. It's what time yeah. does it start at? Come Pete? on out. Uh, come out at eight p.m. Eight p.m. Oh, awesome wings. But if I if oh, I was you, best wings. if I was you, wow. uh, and this is best no this is no joke, man. This is no joke. You got to get there. You get a table early. Get some wings, man. It's gonna be because busy. Uh, it's going to be busy. You might be stuck Remember just standing up. Remember them wings at Swazi's? Just barely. <laughs> yeah, that's how he wants. Yeah. You know? I just barely remember. He Swazi wasn't going to leave Swazi's unless he got his wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are hot bunny wings. Are the the only ride I have. You're dynamite. missing something. Come only early and get it. <laughs> <laughs> and the Shoeshine Boys have got a couple gigs coming up. One on Saturday again at the Norfolk from uh, four to eight. That's right. And they also are uh, doing a New Year's Eve gig for the Lions and Jarvis. Yeah, Jarvis Lions at yep. the Community Center. At the Lions and Community Center, fifty bucks for that ticket. Uh, look friends. them up on uh, Facebook or online. Uh, you should be able to find Please. those gigs. We got one on the seventeenth too, the Kiln Yard. Oh yeah, all right on. Yeah, oh, the seventeenth of the Kiln Yard. Yeah, the yeah. food drive. Yeah, Sunday open jam, jam for the food guys, drive. Yeah. Sunday. 18th. We play Saturday 18th. night there, but on the eighth, the seventh, eighteenth, yeah, the su- whatever the Sunday is of that weekend, open jam. So like we got cool. all, all right on. It's a food yeah. drive one too, isn't it for Cherry? Eighteen, nineteen. And we, yeah, we all mix it up like this too. There, we don't. Yeah. Lots of bands. Lots, Lots of fun. different players, right? Chucky Blake and those guys all show up. Right, sweet. Yeah, so there's a lot of great stuff going on. So look it up. Uh, follow these guys on social media, and you can find out about all these great events uh, that will help our community. And I want to thank you guys not only for coming in, but for uh, doing the stuff you do uh, because uh, it not only entertains us, but it also does uh, help out a lot of people in the community uh, through a lot of your efforts. So thank you very much for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. find find these guys. They're playing awesome. everywhere for real, and they're a great time to go see. Um, other than that, uh, I just want you guys. You guys are gonna play play the way out. Yeah, we are. Sure. And uh, I want to say see you in see you NT. I fucked it up, eh? Edit that too. Yeah, I'll edit that. Too. I'll edit that out too. <laughs> this whole show's gonna be so smooth, eh? Thank you, Teresa, for the cheese. Hey, yeah. Teresa. <laughs> Can't wait to Woo. dig into that. And, uh, oh, yeah, you Ah, uh, Charters. Cheesy. Paul. Fuck you, Charters. <laughs> Sorry, bastard. I like cheese. Charters. <laughs> he is from home. I do like cheese. Charters really loves cheese, eh? It is from really Ireland. <laughs> Very good. Gosh, cheese is good. I would like some, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Case and Eves, you come back anytime. You guys are always welcome. Yes, thank you for having oh, us. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you like being had, thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> Other than that, let's see you NT. See you next Thursday. Pulled in a Nazareth. I was feeling about half past ten. Just need a place where I can lay my head. Take a load of free Take a load of
Just get more of that and less of you talking. This show's going to be something. <laughs> I'll, I'll just take that. <laughs> uh, yes, well done. Nice work, boys. Thanks for having all your show. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. That was fun. That was great. Good jam, boys. Yeah, come on up to the jam. 